We're going to explore if you're close to 50 or 60 years old and you have no retirement savings, what should you do fast or right now? So stay tuned for the full episode. Thank you for watching. This is Richard with Wisdom Investor. Today we're going to look at a situation here many people face. You get close to your 50s or maybe your 60s and you say, well, I just haven't saved enough money for retirement. What am I going to do? So we're going to put together some solutions here. By the way, if you have some ideas or solutions, something that's worked for you, leave it in the comments. I really want to hear about it because they definitely help all of us. Also, if you like any part of the video, hit the like button. So stay tuned for the full segment here. Today we're in Cannon Beach, Oregon, one of the most beautiful sites along the Pacific Ocean. We'll be covering today's topic here. While we're doing that, we're going to take a short hike to enjoy some of the cliffs overlooking the beautiful beach along the Pacific Ocean. If you think you haven't saved enough for a comfortable retirement, you're not out of bullets yet. There is hope. We're going to look at some ways to make saving for your retirement possible, even in your 50s and 60s. Now, here's some reasons you may not have savings. Could be an unexpected health issue, or maybe you lost your job. Procrastination just didn't get around to it, or too much debt. I really want to know your opinion, so let me know your comments. What to do now if you have little or no savings for retirement? If you're currently employed, you can take advantage of the current 401k and IRA catch-up contributions. On top of the standard annual contribution limits, $19,500 for 401k plans and $6,000 for individual retirement accounts in 2021, those who qualify can put an extra $6,500 in their 401k and an extra $1,000 per year in their IRA. What could your catch-up contributions grow to? Let's look at a hypothetical example here. Your catch-up contribution was $6,500 for 10 years and you're fortunate enough to have an 8% return. Your catch-up contributions would grow to $96,303 in 10 years. Now you might say, I can't put aside an extra $6,500 per year from my employment check. Don't panic. There are still options. Now, I know it's hard to get the energy to work longer, especially when you've been planning on retiring at a certain age. However, there are a couple of advantages if you decide to work longer. One, you can continue to build up your Social Security benefit by continuing to work. Number two, you can be adding to your 401k plan savings. Now, the last thing you want to do is retire short on cash and struggle as a senior. If you're in your 50s with no retirement savings, right now is the best time to get started. The longer you wait, the more you ultimately put your golden years of retirement at risk. If you have any comments, leave your comments. I really want to know what you think about this. We're in the town of Cannon Beach now. We're gonna walk around the main streets here in Cannon Beach. This is my wife, Sally, here. Cannon Beach has a population of about 5,000. It's one of the most popular beaches along the Oregon coast. And you can see why the beauty along the beach that we just looked at earlier. So we're gonna take a look around the town here. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Things to do right now if you have not saved much for retirement. Start evaluating your income and expenses. What are your expenses? What are they going to be like in the future? What's your income sources like in the future? Where are they going to come from? Next, how much do you have saved? How much are you currently saving each month toward your goals? Take a look at these two areas. Next, set up a budget 
so that you're saving more than you're spending. Next, don't listen to other people. Everyone's situation is different and using blanket numbers of what you should have for retirement is not the best approach. You could be someone who didn't save a lot when you were younger, but you're making up for it now by contributing large sums to both retirement and non-retirement accounts. In this case, maybe you don't have a lot saved as of this moment, but you're on track to reach your goals within the next 10 years or so. Next, delay Social Security if you don't think you have enough money for retirement. You'll have a larger Social Security benefit when you do retire. Keep in mind, you don't want to make Social Security your main source of income. You want to have saved enough so that Social Security is only 40% of your income while you're in retirement. It's important to stay focused on your pre-retirement goals of creating a budget and saving money. If you get focused on retirement and what you're going to do when you retire, you will find it hard to stay motivated to take care of your business at hand. Again, I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next update.